Hey, and welcome back to Behind the Mitten, John Gonzalez, along with Amy Sherman. We're at the Cooster Bra House on the west side of Grand Rapids, having a great time. And I see Dave Ringler is looking like, are you delivering a pizza? What are you, where are you going with that? He's busy all the time. <laughs> where, where are you going with that, Dave? We got to go to Sand Lake and take him some beer. <laughs> They have a festival this weekend for the 4th of July. They've been doing this for like 80 years. Good luck. Thank you for doing the good work that we need here in Michigan. Thanks for having us by, too. We're delivering happiness in a van. That's right. Yes. Uh, and we're delivering, we're delivering happiness right now. Who do we have with we us? We are. We're so excited to welcome to Behind the Mitten our executive producer of our radio show, Mr. Phil Tower. He's a legend in the radio industry. He's shaking his head right now. He's currently the, what would I say, the general manager of WYC Community Radio here in Grand Rapids, which was a legendary station that I just love listening to, sometimes to Margaritaville on a sitar. You never know. <laughs> but what we wanted to talk to you about a little bit, Phil, you mentioned earlier, um, Traveling with a disability. And I was thinking about this because a couple years ago, my daughter broke her ankle and we went to Mackinac Island right after she did it. And (laughs) suddenly travel was completely different, right? But this is what you are doing every day. Yeah, you know, it's funny because I was thinking about Mackinac Island having been there several times and there are no accessible vehicles there. There is, I should be clear, with the <laughs> carriage company, there is one. Yes. Yep. And one. kudos to the <laughs> island for that. Yeah. Um, and we'll have to, you know, uh, lean on our friend Tim High to get a, a few more accessible vehicles. Um, it is a great, in terms of the island, it is accessible. Um, and Shepplers, shout out to Shepplers, they're very easy in terms of getting on and off the boat, um, seeing people using wheelchairs. Um I have a lot more mobility in my situation, so I can get it on and off pretty easy. But, you know, they're really accommodating. And I think in most cases, just my general 411 for traveling in Michigan is call ahead and ask. You know, I use a wheelchair. There are more and more people. If you talk to our friends at Disability Advocates of Kent County, it's one in five in, in the United States are living with a disability or will there, but for the grace of God, go any of us with a stroke, a car accident, whatever, or a broken ankle, and suddenly you're living the life of the disabled. You get the handicap permit, temporary or permanent, and you're going, okay, how do I navigate life? And, you know, I think you just need to be proactive. Um, This is not my idea. I'm married to somebody who's a project manager who is really good about thinking ahead. She's a really good manager. Yeah, she is. (laughs) And I would normally just wing this stuff, but... Going ahead, um, when we've gone to Beaver Island, which is magnificent, I highly recommend it, the ferry has an accessible lift to get up to the deck. Normally, it's a real big flight of stairs that Mm -hmm. everybody climbs up. They have a chairlift, and they can accommodate people in a wheelchair or people with mobility limitations. And um, I think it's the Emerald Isle is the the boat. Mm -hmm. And it's a wonderful ferry. I highly recommend it. If you've never been to Beaver Island, you can rent a home there. There's not a lot of hotel you options. You can go on a boodle. Uh, <laughs> and uh, you guys have been there, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. yes. <laughs> it is uh, what happens on Beaver Island stays on Beaver exactly, Island. Exactly, Phil. Uh, it's but a great, great place. great things happen it's on just, Beaver it's, Island. <laughs> it, it definitely has more of a laid-back vibe than Mackinac Island. It's indescribable compared to Mackinac Island um, because you can drive, and there are five unbelievable inland lakes there again accessible but you just need to work about you know work on those things ahead of time um i think of other popular places and a lot of them are really great our friends at the gilmore car museum they've really worked on their accessibility friends with their executive director josh and he's talked about that in fact they asked me to to kind of give them some feedback on that henry ford museum in detroit near Bourne village they've really amped up their game in terms of accessibility and i think a lot more people now are really thinking about that um, you know and if it's a place that that might be a challenge just you know improvise and figure out a way to do it because if wherever you want to go people are generally accommodating well, I think, Phil, um, you know, you, you and I have known each other for a, a long time. You have? How long have you guys known each other? Fire up. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> 30, 
<laughs> so li- listeners, yeah. in case you're wondering, yes, they went to CMU together. So that would be yeah. Central, the Central Michigan the, University. Yeah. Oh, I'm exactly. sorry. Yes, I had to. And, you know, when I first <laughs> met you, I'm like, this guy is so cool. Not only was your voice awesome, but you're just a great guy, right? So we got to be, become friends. I just saw a recent picture, and he had really great hair, too. <laughs> yeah, I really was rocking a great 80s haircut in 1980. I think it was 87. Yeah. I had great hair too, but that's a different topic. It's a different topic. Yeah, <laughs> but my point is, like, when I've known you more more recently in this in this world uh, with radio, Amy and I just we were just impressed with you when we traveled together to the Keweenaw Peninsula in the winter time, mm. and you had to manage. I mean, <laughs> Keweenaw, right? In, in Houghton, it's not level. <laughs> no, that's a great point, and there for anybody. Who's mobility limited? I'm talking about older people, somebody with a bad knee or hip. You have to think about those things, and it's really, really important you think ahead. And yeah, that is a bit challenging, but I like a challenge. And going up a steep sidewalk <laughs> while it's snowing and slippery and icy and icy, yeah, that was a challenge. It was a challenge, but yeah. there was beer inside the <laughs> library. <laughs> and the other story that came to mind was, and Amy, you you tell this one. When you and Phil took a snowmobile ride in Gaylord. Oh, that was a blast. <gasps> oh, man, Phil, that was so... I forgot that, that you were on that trip with me. Uh, shout out to the Derminer pi- Party Store. Yes. On Otsego Lake. The, and the Derminer family, they were amazing. And I hope this gets back to them because they were great. Because they looked at me and said, you don't have a snowmobile suit. <laughs> it's like, get, so what did they do? And I love telling this story. Do we have enough time? Yeah, okay. tell okay. it. <laughs> so they were like, come back into the trailer. And their trailer is connected <laughs> to the store. This is pure Michigan. And I loved every minute of it. And they were the nicest people you'd ever met. And they literally pull off the rack a snowmobile suit that fit perfectly. So I'm sitting on somebody's bed putting the snowmobile <laughs> suit on. I walk out. I'm like the Michelin man. I'm ready to roll. <laughs> it was beautiful. Wow. And we, my wife Diane and I and Amy, we did a snowmobile trip across Otsego Lake, which was, it was an adrenal rip. A little I, slushy, I, could, I, heard. I was amazed. No, it actually was not bad. Phil wasn't looking down. I, uh, <laughs> I did hear a couple of cracks in the ice. But, Were you, you know, driving? No, I wasn't okay. driving. Amy was driving. One of the no, one of the Deminers was driving. Right. I think. I would say yeah. you went with someone from Minor Deminers, yeah. yes. yes. And then Diane and I each had our own sleds, I believe. Yes. And yeah, yeah, which is scary enough. To it, think it, about it. it we we should never have been no, but it was. They were amazing up there. Yeah, no. they were amazing. And you know what? Um, again, they just the, these are people who said, you know, no problem. We'll make this work. And again, it's all about the attitude. People who look past the disability and say. Screw it! We're going to make this work. That's and what I liked. About, yeah, they were like, "We're going to figure it out," and they had and they, they did, and they did. They so did what I'm they so had to do. I'm so glad you asked me about that story. Those people left a lifelong impression on me. And if you are ever in the Gaylord area, go into the Demarner's Party <laughs> Store, D E R M I N E R, buy a six pack, and tell them thank you. We heard about you on Behind the Mitten. Yes, <laughs> but my, but that's my point, though. The reason these stories come up is that is that. You can make things happen. I mean, it's, it's, it takes a lot of work, but yeah. it, you don't think about it, right? As, if those that don't have those disabilities or those challenges, right, mm-hmm. don't think about it. And I love that people in Michigan are willing to help others. Attitudes have changed dramatically in the last twenty five years, mm-hmm. and and rightfully so. And again, it's just it's about if you have a good attitude and the place you're trying to enjoy has a good attitude, or you're at least flexible, you can make these things work. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, 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 I agree with you. And the calling ahead, letting them know that you're coming in with, with, you know, maybe something going on. I know when Edie broke her ankle, my daughter broke her ankle, and we went to the Grand Hotel on Mackinac Island, and we went, we happened to have tickets to the Grand Buffet lunch, right? Well, that's not going to work, really, <laughs> with her going through a buffet, right? So we FaceTimed the buffet um, per the recommendation of the general manager at the Grand Hotel. He said, like, why don't you FaceTime the buffet as you walk through? You can fill up her plate as she sits at her table. Oh, yeah. And Great we filled idea. it up, like, and she didn't have idea. to crutch through, so it worked out. So everybody's, I think, if you ask, people are willing to accommodate, um, but, but make the request, because I know our people in travel industry want to make you feel comfortable. Right yeah, film. and we just need to work on the beaches. We need more accessible walkways for people in wheelchairs and crutches on beaches. But we're getting there. Absolutely. We'll get there. Absolutely. Well, Phil Tower, our executive producer here at Behind the Mitten, thank you for joining us. You're very welcome. Thanks for having me. Have a great rest of the summer, too. We'll see you out there. Thank you, guys. <laughs> 
Gonzo, we're going to be next week. On the road to Hoxieville. You definitely want to tune in. Don't miss it. I'm behind the mitten.